today ai agents are solving many problem how about if a agent starts writing a blog on a trending topic and the topic which has been ranked by google which has not yet been published anywhere in the world but your agent has an access to how about posting that directly into your wordpress we solving these problems complex problems and humanizing the content with the help of the large language models and making ai agent work for you if you want to check that out we have a demo for you it's all written by a ai agent i'm sure you would be surprised and you would love to know how to make ai agents which write your blogs on your wordpress websites in an autonomous manner with the proper research so knowing that you know today if a blog writer will come would first try to search for a term in a particular geography what it has been trending and so if i just put ai agents which is the theme i get some top queries which are rising it's manus ai ai sales agent and something like that and if i change my geography to worldwide or something i'll get a other result which will tell me that okay you know manus ai agent and then hugging face and and other things are coming up so this is a google trend that everybody right now is picking up as a blog writer to write this thing and then you know such kind of blogs are something expected which has uh, if i open the uh, page source the critical part is you know writing these meta tags these you know descriptions and everything so all of these things are the critical part of uh, any seo writer and it tells about the twitter label cards and all these things so probably it's a lot of work for anybody to do you know manually and a typical blog writing takes a lot of research work so you actually have to do a lot of research that you know when you write some content so you have to make sure that your content has proper sources and then you referring those sources in your stuff and then you are backlinking your content with some of your existing blog posts so that people are able to you know travel between your own web pages or have backlinking done now imagine if this would be have been a humanly work it would have took a longer time but because now we are using a ai agent so there is a flow towards it and this is the second post that i'm showing you which has been written on relevance ai it's a 7 minute read so now probably seeing this factor that you know this nature of you know the formatting the html you would see a consistency and if i want to you know see that you know how great it is so probably i will use some of my you know stuff that you know ai agents uh, to see whether the backlinking is working or not so yes it's going to some of the blog posts that i wrote actually earlier uh, i'd using the manual efforts or probably the chat gpt work now in this if i show you the view page source you will see that you know the the twitter cards and everything you know this is something which is which is mentioned but not very impressive so i come back to the the section where i will tell you that how exactly this is possible and what ai agents are doing in nowadays life so i'll quickly switch on to the the ai agent interface where we will see that how this entire thing works so we have a trend node where we are checking what are the trends latest trends happening so if you see the same google trends that i actually ran it so this is something based on so right now my geography is india i will change this to us i'll test this step and the agent is going to uh, give me a result which would tell me that okay what is trending right now in a particular geography and then there are other tags also that any ai agent developer can help you out so while this node is fetching from the serp api we'll be able to figure out it might take a little while because i haven't deleted the earlier one the test that i was doing yes so we have manus so this is what you saw and then we have you know open ai Twenty thousand dollars story that we did, I think, two days back. Open AI, Claude, and all these things. So, what it's doing is now it's going to pick up. Now my next node is going to pick up the five trending topics, and for which a prompt has been written here in the JSON format, basically an input. So it's picking up Manus, and it's telling me that okay, I'm going to do this particular write up, and then we are going back again and searching the. You know, it's a normal code loop where we are going to search. you know what are we going to use the keywords what are ai agents and all these things 
Now, basis this, you know, we are going to choose a block topic. There's a proper prompting in this section, which you can get it configured and, and we can set this up in, in a right fashion and we can use all those things. And this is the prompt engineer's job to write a relevant prompt. Moving forward, we're using a reasoning model, which is perplexity. And this is where the researcher works. And then again, we're using the Sonar Pro LLM. When we uh, further move to fixing the links, this is a manual effort. Then the copywriter model, which is GPT-4 Turbo that we are using. And then again, we are instructing this particular model that you're a part of a SEO team. So this is how your agents get built. And then we are instructing what to do, how many words to write, what's the reading level, what kind of you know structure that we need to make. So this is where the whole agentic flow starts working and then we refer to the previous post. So what I've done is I've actually created a Google sheet. Now I'll show you the Google sheet. This is the Google sheet where I've actually kept some of my old uh, blogs and I've actually mentioned it when I started this thing. And these are the two recent posts that I just showed you have been created. Now I'll show you how it works. It basically right now referring the old blog post so that when you write, you're, you're backlinking them, you're using them wherever required. So add internal links. And then we are further moving to HTMLizing the whole thing, which is also done by the, the OpenAI agent and the whole flow and how the colors and schema of any organization needs to be configured. It's to be done one time and the layout that you're seeing is actually coming from this prompt. So some training and instructions have been done and then you pick up a slug, the title, the meta description, and then you pick up the image, the trending image, and then you go to the WordPress, post it, some integrations and then you again update the google sheet saying that okay this blog post has been written so base is this we basically come to this stage where we arrive at creating blog posts which are all ai generated and you can set up the frequency as you like this will be the best way of doing this thing so that's it for the session as promised this is the